Howdy folks. Well I just bought this uh, 12 ton shop press from Harbor Freight uh, and the main reason is because I needed to press some wrist pins out of uh, the pistons and rods here on a it's a 5.7 liter Hemi that I'm rebuilding and uh, I needed to get them out of there and plus it's just a good thing to have around. I, you know it's something you don't need a lot but it, it's awful nice when you do have something like that. Well anyway I had watched some YouTubers doing the same thing and uh, thought it was perfect for what I needed and so this is how I had it laid in here just like this and that's what they did too for the most part and I'll get back to that in a second but anyway I had it laid in here but I had kind of a catast catastrophe the first time that I did it well I've got another engine it's a 360 that I started rebuilding oh, a few years ago but I don't even actually have a car for it to go in it's just the engine so never really continued on with it but I, the same deal I've got new pistons and just never did press the uh, uh, pins out of there to uh, put the new pistons on the rods. So I grabbed one of those first and uh, just just to practice because this is the first time I've ever used this press uh, and the first time I've ever pressed any uh, wrist pins out of out of uh, pistons and rods. So again, uh, this one, this 5.7 liter, I've got a truck that I'm trying to you know get going, get on the road that I bought, and so I wanted to get that one going so I didn't care about the other one if something happened it wasn't any big deal so I practiced on that one first and it went perfect it went right out of there so the first one that I did for the Hemi I had kind of a, cat a catastrophe and here it is it broke it shoved this piece down inside that deal and I'll show you how it did it and it also bent my rod I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there we go. Uh, if you can see, you probably can see that that bent that rod. So, anyway, but yeah, this piece right here, I actually it shoved it down inside that thing. I had to pry it up to get it out of there, uh, and it just broke. Now I had barely put any pressure on that thing, uh, and you can see it's in pieces. I had barely started putting any pressure, and that just popped and cracked, and uh, and went down inside there. So of course I immediately stopped, but again it bent the rod but now I don't know why that broke you know I don't it, a weak piston possibly I'm not sure but I did have this up here like that and I think that's a mistake um, to have that on there like that they did not do that in those videos I thought I was being smart just to kind of help it keep level you know uh, so I had that piece of three quarter inch wood in there just to kind of hold that right I think if I had not had that in there it probably just would have moved you know with the piston and it wouldn't have bent probably I'm guessing so that was kind of one mistake and uh, so the other I guess like I say it just it just broke and I don't really know why so I tried another one and I was successful and I'll show you how I had that one set up alright so this is how I've got it set up now uh, I've just got that arbor plate there and it's it's just like this you got a got a bigger opening here and a smaller opening here I've got it on the smaller opening side and it's just resting right here on that just barely and then I've got a piece of half inch flat bar that I had and it's of course uh, resting underneath this round part right here so we'll see how we go I just have barely have a little tension and again I don't have uh, I don't have anything under that rod this time so let's see how we go this time like I say, I was successful doing it. There we go, and that just broke loose from the rod a little bit.
and that looks good the rod's straight get that in there for you sorry uh, rod looks pretty straight and didn't break this so just wanted to I know it's a quick video just wanted to kind of throw that out there in case anybody uh, you know tried it the way I just did it just kind of didn't want that to happen to you and uh, thought I'd make a video about it so I uh, hope that tip helps you guys thanks for watching